I've been using the Moft Wallet for about six months and I think it's a pretty good piece of kit. That being said, before you pick it up for yourself, we should talk about some pros and cons. The first and by far the best pro for me is that after I got this little wallet, I have not carried a traditional wallet since. I put my main three cards in there, which is one debit card, one credit card, and then I put my ID. And then that's all I need. If you wanna carry cash, I just put it in my pocket. I'm not saying this works for everybody, but it works pretty well for me. Another pro for this wallet is that you can stand it up using their kickstand mode, and it works in vertical or horizontal but I definitely use it more in horizontal and the kickstand actually works pretty well if you're just trying to watch some YouTube or Netflix and set it up on your desk. I use it like that a good amount. Probably the time I use the kickstand most though is when you wanna do some guided workout like an ab workout or yoga or whatever it is and then you can set your phone up on the floor and then you can do your workout while watching your phone screen and it's much easier than like getting some books or something to set behind your phone which is what I used to do. Another pro I would say is I have the iPhone 13 Pro Max which is a massive phone. I think having the wallet on the back actually makes it easier to hold. It makes it a little like thicker and rounder and so it feels like it just sits in my hand more nicely. Another pro is that because it's a MagSafe accessory if you want to pull the wallet off because you're putting your phone in a tripod like mine's in right now then you just snap it off, you just throw it in the tripod, it's hassle-free. Another pro is if you're gonna go on a run or something, I personally don't like to take my phone, so what I'll do if I'm going to buy something on the run, like some coffee or water, is I'll just take my wallet and then I can slip it in my pocket and it's small enough that it fits in your runner shorts pockets, or at least it fits in mine. And that works well, whereas my old thicker wallet was always too big and bulky to really work for me. So those are the pros, but it has not all been sunshine and rainbows. There are also some cons, and the first and probably biggest one for me is that I've only been using it for six months and it looks pretty beat up. I mean, it looks like it's been through the ringer and I'm not saying I treat this carefully, but I also haven't been destroying it. My phone goes through all the same treatment and I have no scratches on the screen and my case is a little beat up, but really not that bad. So I think the Moft Wallet just doesn't have that good of build quality. The leather, you can see the yellow is peeling off of it and it's becoming kind of a weird tannish beige underneath. And I don't really mind that much. It's just an aesthetic thing, but it does look pretty bad. Another con is that sometimes when you're sliding it into your pocket, if you don't like hold the wallet with your hand, then you can slide it off your phone. I've never had it happen where I like drop the wallet and don't notice, but I have had it happen where I put my phone in my pocket, the wallet comes off, and then I have to pick the wallet off the ground. Again, I've always noticed, but it could happen where you don't notice that your wallet fell off and then you just lost your cards and your ID, which would suck. Another con is that when you're trying to set the phone up in tripod mode, sometimes it doesn't balance that well, and it could just be because my phone is really big and heavy, but sometimes it'll have to lean, and so you kind of have to tinker with it, and then that takes away from the like, easy setup and takedown. And then the last significant con I have is that if you're using a big phone like mine, or really any phone, it does make the phone quite a bit thicker. I personally like it because I think it makes the phone easier to hold, but I could easily see how if you wanted a thinner phone or you have smaller pockets or whatever it is, this just doesn't work that well. Another con I have is that when you slap the wallet on the phone, it'll align pretty well to the center, but sometimes the bottom misses and then you have to like tinker with it to get it to sit right straight on the phone. I think this is the case with any MagSafe wallet, but it should be noted that that is a problem. Sometimes it doesn't center quite as well. All those things being considered, I have absolutely loved this wallet. And while I'm a little worried that it's going to tear apart and not be alive in the next year or two, it has been a great tool for me over these last six months and I would recommend it to anybody as long as they're not thinking this is going to last for five years. I bet you it's only gonna last a year or two um, because I just think the build quality isn't that good. Also, if you're really caught up on aesthetics, then the watermarks on the back. I've kept my phone pretty dry, but sometimes it gets a little damp, so like that just happens. But yeah, overall, I think it's a pretty great wallet. Uh, I will say this isn't sponsored content. They did not send me this. I bought this with my own money and this is just my opinion. It is in no way sponsored. If you have any questions or things I didn't answer, let me know in the comment section below and I'll see you guys later. Peace.